So as you may have guessed from the title of this one, I'm going to be talking about the pseudo class not in CSS. This is a way to target uh, the opposite of things, the negation of things. So simple example. Let's say that I want to target everything that's not a paragraph on the page. So everything. This is the selector. Not with a P inside. So everything that is not this on the page is going to be, um, let's put border one pixel solid gold. There we are. So we have the body, the header, the H1, the images, the span, a couple of buttons. All these things now have gold borders on them. If we look at the HTML, there's the body, the header, the H1, the main, the image, the span, the image, the button, the button. All those elements have borders, but the paragraphs do not. You can see between them, there's no border showing up here because the paragraphs don't have a border. And that's it. That is how this works. Now, this, what I've styled, may not seem that useful. However, there are some useful things that you can do with the not selector. You want to find out if your site's being accessible. So you're doing some testing before you upload it. I want to find all the images on my page where I've forgotten to add an alt attribute. So we can say images not alt. Oops, that should be parentheses. Alt. There we are. And we'll say border three pixels solid red. There we are. Now, imagine this applied to the entire website. If I've got a whole bunch of pages, I can quickly skip through the pages now and identify any image where I've forgotten to add the alt attribute. If I look at the HTML, this image has the alt attribute, no border. This one doesn't, and there it is. So you're just you're putting inside of here a simple selector to target things on the page. If you forget about the image not part, this would target everything that has an alt attribute. So I want the opposite of that. I want things that don't have an alt attribute. So I could just say not alt. Now that would target everything on my page that doesn't have an alt attribute. So this is the only thing right here. This second image, it's the only thing that does. I need to narrow that down now. So images that don't have the alt attribute. So this is a very practical example of what you can do for accessibility with this. You want to find buttons that are disabled. Make sure that buttons are disabled. Well, we could say that button not disabled. Background color, let's say cornflower blue. There we are. So this one's disabled. This one is not. So we can quickly target all the buttons that are not disabled. Maybe that's something that you want to do as part of your normal styles. When the page loads, the ones that aren't disabled are going to be bright. Everything else, the background color for all the other buttons is going to be some gray with gray text on it. Okay, um, classes. We can do classes as well with this. Comment that out. Down inside of here, I've got paragraphs. And this one's got the class Mario and intro. This one's got Luigi and body. So we could say... I want to get all the classes, all the sorry, all the paragraphs with the class Mario, and all the paragraphs with the class Luigi, but not ones that have the class body. So we'll change the color to olive. There we are. So we got the one that has the class Mario, but Luigi, because it does have the class body, is not getting this styling. Let's add another paragraph down here at the bottom. And oh, here I'll quickly add some content in there. That's the Emmet plugin, if you're wondering, that I was using. And this one's got the class Luigi, but I haven't added the class body to it, so it does get the olive styling. So we've said 
paragraphs with the class Mario. That's simple, that's just the first one. Then we've got paragraphs with the class Luigi, but only if they don't have the class body. So that would be this one. This one does have the class body, so it doesn't get the styling. All right, and that's, that's really all there is to it. Um, do a little bit of experimenting. It can feel a little bit strange at first. Don't be afraid to experiment and try different combinations of things. Make it part of a selector chain. Like you can add things afterwards here. So, you know, you could target spans that were inside of that and style them as well. All right. So, uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. If you found this useful, please share it. And as always, thanks for watching.